everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually a collaboration video between myself and 11 other wonderful YouTubers who I am friends with. I actually met most of them at a huge meet and greet that we had last month and it was just a great turnout we hung out even after the meet and greet and it was just a great time so we all teamed up to create some fall inspired videos for you guys in case you guys are interested I will have everyone's names and links to their channels down below in my description bar so you guys should definitely check each and every one of them out so for my video I will be sharing with you my top seven must-have fall lipsticks and these lipsticks I've had for a while now. I'll also show you guys some swatches and wear each lipstick on my lips so you guys know how each of them look like. And most of these are drugstore brands, so they're all affordable. And for all of my budget-friendly viewers, these lipsticks are definitely a must-have in your lipstick collection. So anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing my top seven um, favorite must-have lipsticks for this fall season, then keep watching. So this first lipstick I want to show you guys is by NYX, and this color is in 621 Milan. I have had this for a while, and I still have a lot of product in it, although I'm kind of running out. I might need to buy a new one. But anyway, it's just the perfect um, pinkish nude lipstick color. And I'm telling you, this lipstick is so creamy and moisturizing. It feels amazing on my lips. And it smells good too. I don't know. I have a like fetish for the smell of lipsticks. I know that sounds strange, but I don't know. I like to smell everything. And if you plan to have any heavy um, dark makeup for this fall, this is a great lipstick to kind of neutralize your face because you don't want too much going on on your eyes and your lips so I highly recommend this. So this next lipstick I have been wearing a lot lately and I got it at a Wet n Wild event that I went to back in August and I've been wearing it so many times and I've been getting so many compliments on it. It's kind of like a dark, plummy, reddish um, color and it's by Wet n Wild. The color is called Mocha Licious in 914C. It's an awesome lipstick color. It leaves kind of a satin matte finish and it's also very, very creamy. So I love it and it's very long lasting. So this next lipstick is kind of similar to the one that I just showed you, the Wet n Wild one, but this one has more of a reddish undertone and I absolutely adore this lipstick. This is L'Oreal's Infallible Lipstick in Everlasting Plum and the number is 712. And I'm sure you guys know this but L'Oreal lipsticks are amazing and you can't go wrong with them and especially since they're drugstore and very affordable, I highly recommend it, especially this one. This is an awesome fall lippy and I just, I'm in love with it. And I find that these L'Oreal Infallible lipsticks last pretty much the whole day. I remember using this one night when I went out and you know I had a couple of drinks here and there and the lipstick did not budge and I did not have to reapply it. It glides on so creamy and so smooth. It's freaking awesome. So my next favorite lipstick is this one by MAC and this one is in Plumful and it's from their Luster collection. It's a beautiful rose plum color and I've used it in a couple of my videos already. This also is very very creamy. It leaves a satin kind of finish. So this next color every girl needs in their lipstick collection regardless if it's fall, spring, summer, or winter. Every girl needs that bright red lipstick color that has a cool or blue undertone. And this lipstick I'm wearing right now is in Russian Red by MAC. This is the perfect bright red lipstick and it's also matte and I just think that everybody needs this color or at least something that's similar to it. I personally think that this color looks amazing on all different skin types. Now this next color may be a little bit harsh or too dark for you but I think it's the perfect edgy kind of vampy color and this one is by Revlon and the color is in Black Cherry. This lipstick has a satin finish and I just think it's the perfect um, dark cherry color. First it comes off kind of reddish but the more you apply on your lips then the darker it will show up. 
And also another plus to this lipstick is that it makes my teeth look extremely white, which is just awesome because who doesn't love white teeth, right? <laughs> So my final favorite must-have lipstick for this fall season is this one I'm wearing right now. This one is from MAC and it's from the Amplified Cream Collection and this color is in Craving. It's kind of a rosy plumish color but I think it's more of a rose color and I got this a while back and I'm obsessed with it. I've used a lot of it as you can see but I still have a lot of product in it and I'm sure you all know this that MAC lipsticks are amazing and I definitely think it's worth the price as opposed to buying those lipsticks that are worth $30 or more which is just crazy to me. I don't know about you guys but I'm obsessed with the smell of MAC lipsticks. I don't know, it just has that distinguished smell that no other lipsticks have and I don't know, I'm just obsessed with it. So I hope you all were inspired by this video and got some fall ideas for lipsticks. Don't forget to check out the other ladies' videos on their fall inspirations. I'll have everyone's um, links down below and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!